dynamic mappings and explicit mappings are really useful, but there's a middle ground which can really help you out in certain situations. What if you wanted to have all integer fields actually mapped to a short type, or you had a lot of field names containing the word subnet, and you wanted those field types to be mapped to an IP underscore range? Dynamic templates is something that can really help you out with this. A dynamic template allows you to match certain rules, such as the field name containing a certain pattern, or the mapping type that Elasticsearch has chosen. I'll create an example where all fields that would be mapped to a long type get mapped to a short using a dynamic template. Dynamic templates are configured in the mappings block when you create the index. The one I've got here is called longs as short. What this does is to match any new fields that Elasticsearch has mapped to a long type and then set the mapping for that field to be a short. This way, for dynamic mappings, any new fields that need to be created get run through these dynamic templates. If there's a new field that is a long type, it'll get changed to be a short. Let's add in a document. And then if we look at the mapping for this index, we can see that our dynamic templates are up top here. And this is our new field, age with the type of short. The match mapping type property is any of the types that Elasticsearch will use for a dynamic mapping. We can see that by trying to use an invalid type, object, string, long, double, boolean, date, and binary. As well as matching based on the mapping type that Elasticsearch has chosen to override with the mapping that we want, we can also match based on the field name. If we had fields containing the word subnet and we wanted those fields mapped to an IP underscore range, we could do that using a dynamic template. We can then add a new document called home underscore subnet with the subnet range. and see that Elasticsearch has used an IP underscore range type for that new field. Now this does create a problem where the word subnet can be used in a field name, but it might not actually be an IP range. For example, if we added a new field called subnet name, this would also get mapped to an IP range, but it's not actually an IP range. We then get an error when the document is indexed. To work around this, we can also unmatch certain fields based on rules. We can add an extra rule to the subnet is IP range template, telling Elasticsearch to not use this dynamic template for any field that also contains the word name. The subnet name field is still in the mapping, but it's got the standard mapping for a text field. Dynamic templates can be really useful when you want to use an explicit mapping, but you still need to allow some level of flexibility.